Mina, Ohio Gazimus, Jesus Freaking Gamer here. Yeah, doing this stuff in the morning. Bizarre. So if you can forgive the total warping of the reality of the fabric of space-time uh, by me being up early and doing this, it's so strange even for me. Let's look at Psalm 56 again. Just got several little things in here that I really, really liked. And since I have a few things to catch up from my long hiatus, you can see the apology video I made just yet. As of the publishing of this video, that apology video was published yesterday. Because I've been gone for a while. No good reason, I just was. So, since I have found a few juicy things in the psalm I read today, I wanted to keep on going. I wanted to show you. So this is going to be verse 8. Now this... I've, I think I've heard this, I've heard this in a few messages and probably in a few praise and worship songs. And I found the verse. You might have heard of it. This is Psalm 56, once again. Verse 8. You number my wanderings, put my tears into your bottle. Are they not in your book? When we're going through the hard times, when life is rough, God's not unattentive. He's not uncaring or unloving. He's right there in the middle of it. He does care. And he will, he will embrace you in those hard times. It doesn't always take away all the pain. Sometimes he doesn't do that. Sometimes he allows the pain to grow us up and make us stronger. It sucks. It's not fun. At least not on our end. At least not right now where things are just, ugh. You know, in the middle of the situation, things are just kind of, ugh. It would take the removal of the situation to make it better for us. But a lot of the times, once we're, we've gone through those hard times, we are better off for it. So God doesn't necessarily protect us from those hard times. Rather, he gives us the grace to deal with them. And he goes through those hard times with us. And he knows how many times you've wandered. He knows how many tears you've cried. All of these things and more are written in his book. He knows you. He knows what you're going through. And despite the problems, despite the hard times, the plan is good. The plan is solid. He's got your back, and God will make it all right. Maybe not the way you're anticipating, maybe not even the exact way you're asking, but he will make it right. And if I may just throw in a real quick piece of advice at the end, ask him. Ask him what he wants to do in this bad situation. Ask him what he's up to. Seek his heart on the matter because God knows what he's doing in every single human life through all the catastrophes, whether they were planned by another human or they're just some random freak accident that seemed to be beyond human control. He knows what's going on. And he did allow it for a reason. It sounds a little bit cliched, but I can see why the church says it so often. It's true. He really does have our backs, and he really will see us through to the end of it. Every wandering, every tear, he knows about, he remembers, and it is recorded in heaven's history books. So take heart in the fact that God is right there with you, he hasn't left you. He hasn't forsaken you. And if you've walked away from him, if you have abandoned him or forsaken him, may I encourage you to come back? God's always in the business of forgiving. Uh, that's why Jesus died on the cross. So if you've slipped away, if you've fallen away, come back. If you've never accepted Jesus for the first time, and this message is kind of touching your heart, accept Jesus right now. Accept him right now. You don't need to wait. You don't need to wait. In fact, I'll, I'll, I usually don't do this for my little messages, but I'm going to end this message with a prayer. For those of you who are persuaded that you do need Jesus, that he is the answer that you've been seeking, searching for and seeking all this time, pray this prayer with me. You can, of course, use your own words if you want to, but I'll just shoot up a model prayer in case it just, you kind of want someone to lead you in what to say. Follow my lead. Say, Lord Jesus, I admit I'm a sinner. I admit I need your help. I believe you died on the cross for me, shedding your blood for the forgiveness of my sins, and I believe you rose again the third day, guaranteeing me eternal life in heaven with you. So right now, Jesus, I accept you as my Lord, my Master, and my Savior. Thank you for hearing this prayer and answering it right now. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, you are now in the family of God, and again, First off, congratulations. That's amazing. Secondly, that doesn't mean all the problems are just going to disappear. What it means is now God will provide the grace for you to get through them, and he will be with you through those hard times. If you have any comments, prayer requests, etc., leave them in the comments section down below. I will do my best to look at them and to read them. 
So that about settles it for this short message. Thank you for tuning in and watching. I love you, and God bless.